This time yesterday, he was apologising. Now the Chief Constable of South Yorkshire Police, David Crompton, has been suspended over his response to Hillsborough. These were his words 24 hours ago. We unequivocally accept the verdict of unlawful killing and the wider findings reached by the jury in the Hillsborough inquests. Mr Crompton's suspension came after South Yorkshire's Police and Crime Commissioner said he had no choice but to act based on the erosion of public trust and confidence. I will answer any questions. Walk on, walk on, walk in your Yesterday, they vowed to walk on. But the road ahead for the families of the Hillsborough victims will remain lengthy and complicated. Potential prosecutions are still many months away. Today, the Home Secretary set out the government's response to the inquest jury's ruling that the Liverpool fans were unlawfully killed. And she paid this tribute. I've met members of the Hillsborough families on a number of occasions. And in their search for truth and justice, I have never failed to be struck by their extraordinary dignity and determination. But Mrs May stressed any decision on charges is at least a year away and won't come until the conclusion of two criminal investigations into the deaths. Offences potentially under consideration include gross negligence manslaughter, perverting the course of justice, perjury and misconduct in a public office. Among those likely to face investigation, a former Chief Superintendent David Duckenfield, the match commander, who jurors found was responsible for the victim's deaths by gross negligence due to a breach of his duty of care. But it's not only individuals. South Yorkshire Police, Yorkshire Ambulance Service and Sheffield Wednesday Football Club could also face prosecution. I hope the whole House today will be united in demanding that all those involved in the lies, smears and cover-ups that have so bedeviled this whole inquiry will now be held to account. Yeah. Well, let me join the right hon. Gentleman in praising those who campaigned so hard and so long uh, to get justice for the victims of, of Hillsborough. This whole process took far too long. The process may have taken a long time, but the families are now seeing some rapid developments. Julian Drucker, 5 News.